Right now, Jimmy Johnson in the 48 car in the 12th position. I've got to believe if they can close the deal here with two laps to go, they'll be very relieved to finish 12th because at one point, he was two laps down in this race. Yeah, he will leave here 12 points ahead of Matt Kenseth. If everything stays the same for about another lap and a half. Look at that. Is that guy, is he in any strain? White flag. One to go for Casey Look K. how relaxed he is in there. Look at his hands. They're not gripping the wheel. They're just holding the wheel. That car is on a rail, buddy. 26 years old tomorrow. Oh, little, little swerve there. Little wave. All he needs to do is get through turn three and four one more time. And Casey Kane will become the second Dodge to win here. The first man to win from the front row, the 11th different winner at Texas, Casey Kane, wins the Samsung Radio Shack 500. Clint Boyer in the 07 crashes on the backstretch going off into turn three. Well, Larry, he was, he was giving up spots in a hurry, and the car had gotten really loose with him. He was falling back through the field pretty hard. Let's show you what happened to Clint Boyer on the last lap. Oh, he was trying. I think he may have been trying to block the five and they made contact. No, no, he got sideways and the five just had, to, had nowhere to go but to follow him. Five did a pretty darn good job of keeping from running into him. But definitely Clint got bad loose in the old yeah. yeah, I was watching. He was falling back pretty hard, pretty in a big hurry. Second win of 2006 for Casey Kane, who with this same car won at Atlanta from the pole. Clint Boyer's climbed out of his car. He is okay. It's like a Texas-sized burnout coming here. Let me tell you, one thing, I, if you blow up my motor, that's fine, but please don't turn up that race car. <laughs> oh, no. Because Lowe's Motor Speedway is <laughs> yeah, coming. I got, a, I got a plan for that baby. <laughs> 11 races, 11 different winners at the Great American Speedway. Casey Kane will go to victory lane, and so will we. You're watching NASCAR on Fox. The crew of Casey Kane celebrating Texas style, his second win of this year. Casey Kane will celebrate his birthday on Monday as he turns 26. This is how you do it at the Great American Speedway. He finished 42nd here in Texas last year, coming off a rough Bristol race, now moving up to third in points, holding off Matt Kenseth and Tony Stewart for the victory today. Fox, glad to have you with us for the Sprint post-race show as we are right above Victory Lane where Casey is about to hop out of the car here at the Texas Motor Speedway. Steve Burns is down there beneath the confetti. Steve? Thank you, Chris. Casey Kane's second win of this season. Now, Casey, you started from the pole, but I heard you get a little excited early. The car got bad loose on you. What happened, and how did you guys recover? I was, uh, couldn't believe we were that loose at the start and just uh, took us a while to get going. The uh, Kenny Francis made some great adjustments to our Dodge Steelers, UAW Dodge Charger, and uh, I mean, the final run there was the best card been all day. It was a heck of a battle with Tony there. You know, I knew he wanted to hold me off because if he could beat me into the pits, he had a better shot of beating us out. And uh, pit crew didn't let that happen. So just a uh, privilege to drive for Everham. The engines ran great. And uh, thank everybody at the shop. These guys do a great job. Casey also heard you express concern about restarts. What was the issue there? Uh, we were just, uh, I just wasn't hitting them very good. You know, I was missing, uh, just wasn't hitting my shifts right right perfect, I don't think. But uh, the engine seemed like it ran great. And, you know, Stanley Tools, Mo. Our UAW, McDonald's, all the uh, all the people that support this team, uh, we thank you a lot. Big smile. Congratulations. Let's go to Matt Yoakum.